Krishna for here. Welcome today to part two of this uh, how to update your Galaxy Tab Duo to 4.0. Um, now in this video, I was going to show you guys how to back up my own stuff, but in the previous video, I got a lot of comments telling me, or, or uh, PMs telling me, that they don't need to know how to update, uh, how to back up their phone, but they know how to do it themselves. So fine if you guys know how to do it yourselves. Um, you can check out other YouTube videos teaching you how to back up your phone. So, I'm not going to show you guys that. So, in part 2, basically, I'm going to show you guys how to actually do it. It's going to be quite a short tutorial. So, first, what you need to do is just go to our uh, wireless network, USB Utilities. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Go to USB Utilities and just click Connect Storage to PC. And then just say Connect USB Cable to USB Mass Storage. So, let's go do that right now. Alright, so once you're back on computer, you just want to go and download some files. Um, one is the CM2020717 Experimental Alpha 5. Um, this should be in the description below. And download GAPS ICS, which should also be in the description below. Now, I originally got, I, I originally got GAPS from um, Google.im, and um, since a lot of people seem to have a lot of same people, since a lot of people seem to have problems with um, Google IM and um, seem to not be able to download from the servers, I've kindly re-uploaded it onto Mediafire, but just uh, to take note, all credit goes to them, they want to do it first. Alright, so now, once uh, all you do is now just plug your phone back into the computer, and you should and you'd soon see, um, let me just plug it in first, and you should soon see two little, um, sorry. Alright, as you see, your little SD cards appear after you click Connect USB Storage. So let's just wait for them to appear. Alright, as you can see, two um two SD so SD cards will appear. Now you have to drag the two files that you downloaded earlier, uh, basically CM9 and GAPS, into your external SD card. Do not drag them into your internal SD card because, yeah, for ver various reasons, don't drag them to SD card. You might want to create a folder that starts with A, like something like. A, A ROMs or something, so that it'll be right at the top and you understand what I want to do this later on. So take your two files and drag them into A, A ROMs, yeah, which should be at the top. It's only about 176 MB, so it shouldn't really take that long, so just wait for it to uh, copy over. I repeat once again, I can't stress the importance of this, make sure you do not copy it into your internal storage. So just wait for it to continue copying and it should be done soon. Be right back. Alright, so once it's done, you should see both in AA ROMs. Now you go back, you should see AA ROMs at almost the top of the list. So now just close off this, um, go back to your phone, and click Disconnect Storage from PC. Now let's head back over that site and have some fun. Hey guys, welcome back to the phone. Alright, so now make sure you've backed up everything because you're really at the point of no return. Um, if you do anything to your phone from now on, you can't really get, back, get it back to its original state. So make sure your contacts, your photos, your calendars, whatever it is, make sure it all backs up. Now when you're ready to, to continue, hit the power off button and shut your phone down. <coughs> Alright. So once your phone turns off, to turn your phone back on, instead of just pressing the power button as, like we always do, instead press the volume up button, the home button, and the power button at the same time. So let's do that. Press the three buttons together. And once you see Samsung logo, release your power button and continue holding on to your volume up button and your home button. Alright, you see Samsung Galaxy Tab Duo 1 the GT1850, so it's a number, and you see CWM based recovery 5.5.04. Now to uh, navigate this menu, also to use, use the up, volume up and down buttons to go up and down and press the home button to select. So first, you're going to go to wipe data slash factory set. Now this is really the point of no return. Once you click this button, there's no going back. Everything is gone. So uh, scroll down to yes, delete all user data, and it should start to wipe everything. Alright, so once it's done, um, go up to install zip from SD card, and choose the, um, oops, sorry, press the wrong button. Install zip from SD card and choose the install, uh, come on focus, mm -hmm. okay, and choose the second option, which, I mean sorry, the first option, which is choose zip from SD card. Now remember, just like to put AA ROMs, that's because you're at the top of the list and easier for access. Now all you have to do is just go to, come on, can you focus? Okay, all you have to do is just go to AA ROMs, and click on the first one, CWM 92012070.zip. Now click on that, and click Yes, install CWM. So click yes, and it should say installing 
opening update package, installing update. Alright, I'll give it some time to install and it should be done soon. Okay guys, so once the update is done, you should just say install from SD card complete. Now you'll go again to install zip from SD card and go to AA ROMs again. And this time instead of clicking on the first one, obviously click on the second one which is that of gaps. Dot, uh, gaps IT has signed. So click that again and go once again to yes install gaps and it will start installing. Um, this install should be relatively faster than the previous one, so I don't think I'll cut the video and we can just wait it out together. Um, let me just explain to you what GEMS does. GEMS basically installs back Google Play onto your ICS device because um, when you install the custom ROM, Google Play wouldn't be there. Alright, so you should say install from SD card, com uh, SD card complete. And now is the moment of truth. All to do is just hit reboot system now and you're going to see wonder. Now when ICS shoot restart. Exciting. Well, I managed to finish this entire thing in like, well, two parts or something. As you can see now, it should say Synergen mod below, and you can see Temp should be starting. Into ICS, you know, I am super excited about this. And, whew, this guy looks really, really cool. Alright, so this should continue on for quite a bit. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back once this is done. Welcome to your brand new ICS4 and super duper cool. Alright, so click start. Um, I'll sign later, not now. Click next. Um, blah blah blah. Okay, I'll type this in. And Zachary Lim. Next. And next. And finish. And tra la la. Welcome to the amazing one and only ICS. It looks really, really cool. <laughs> it looks really like ICS. It looks really, really nice. Um,. Yeah, as you can see, it has. All right, thank you. Um, as you can see, it has all your little uh, widgets and apps, little buttons that all they are found in ICS, and obviously it has the Play Store, which can be used to download your apps back. Um, so yeah, um, the only thing that doesn't work in this update, okay, man, not the best I tell you guys, but the only thing that doesn't really work in this update is that of the camera. I feel it's quite buggy, but as you can see, um, let's just shift the camera around a bit. As you can see, the camera is actually working pretty well. Um. Yeah, the camera is actually working pretty well, but I felt it was quite buggy. So yeah, you might want to. I'm not sure. I don't know if you can actually download a separate camera app to use uh, to work on the camera because the camera is always be quite bad <laughs> and quite buggy, like I said earlier on. So that's the only downside of this ICS update. But if you can get past that, I'm sure you wouldn't mind having an awesome ICS Galaxy Tab your phone. So thanks for watching my video, guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. Goodbye.